requirements for creating pages. You can only change or create Web Center pages in directories for which the user has change or create access rights. Web Center pages of a directory can only be viewed by the user of a user group that has at least the read access rights to the directory. For creating and saving a Web Center page to the public directory, the logged in user must be a member of the Windows user group DM underscore admin. Basically the same requirements apply to page names as with folder names. The page name must be between 3 to 25 characters and no special characters are allowed for the page name. Creating pages for the Web Center is a simple task. The creation of the pages is really combining web parts together on a page. The configuration for the web parts included on a page are saved with the page. All pages in the Web Center are based upon templates. When you install the Data Monitor server, there are several predefined layout templates that are created for you. However, you can create your own layouts to suit your own specific user interface requirements. Next, we will show you a demonstration of creating an archive data page that will be saved in our plant archive folder. Note, if you do not see the folder name available that you want to save your page to, this is a hint that you should check the user permissions for that folder. 